President Erdogan has turned Turkey into an authoritarian regime. He has censored the media, jailed journalists, sacked judges, interfered with court proceedings, and now he's going after social media. Erdogan's latest gift to Turkey is a social media censorship bill, a bill that allows him to block Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, among others, if they do not follow his diktats. Erdogan's Turkey is an authoritarian regime. Checks and balances of the parliamentary system have been replaced by a centralized presidential rule. The traditional media is highly censored. And now there is no freedom of speech on the internet either. Turkey's parliament has passed a bill. It has given the government tighter control over social media. Tech giants like Facebook and Twitter will now have to keep representative offices in Turkey. They would also have to store user data in the country and comply with court orders on removal of posts. On the face of it, nothing seems amiss. After all, what's wrong if they're being asked to follow the law of the land? Now take this into account. Turkey's courts are often used to advance political agenda. The judiciary is puppeteered by Erdogan. Judges are often switched during trials and replaced by newcomers. Reuters claims that 45% of Turkey's 21,000 judges have less than three years of experience. This lack of an independent judiciary makes the new bill a censorship tool in the hands of Erdogan. What happens if social media companies don't abide by government orders? They will face steep fines, advertising bans and bandwidth reduction. There are 54 million active social media users in Turkey. For them, this bill spells erosion of freedom of expression. They could be punished for speaking freely. Their posts could be taken down by the government. Their access to independent information would be limited. 49.6% of Turkey is against this bill. So how does Erdogan justify it? His government says the bill is aimed at checking cybercrime and protecting users. The truth is, it is aimed at protecting Erdogan's reputation. Turkey recently arrested hundreds of its citizens for their social media posts. What were the posts about? The Wuhan virus pandemic, Turkey's military offensive abroad and Erdogan. This bill legitimizes such repression. Turkey already leads the world when it comes to sending removal of requests to Twitter. In the first half of 2019 alone, it had sent over 6,000 requests. 408,000 websites are already blocked in Turkey. Journalists are jailed for speaking the truth. This is Turkey slipping into a conservative, less tolerant future. It is a shame given the country was once pitted as a model for neighboring states. So long democracy and freedom of speech. Your report, we on World is One.